Today I'll be reviewing the Twist Press, which is a new brew method from Barista & Co. Uh, it's a nice hybrid of a variety of different brew methods. It has kind of elements of the pour over style, immersion style like you get in a French press, and also um, the espresso style pressurized brew method uh, as you push through um, the coffee ground. So first let's talk about what's included when you make the purchase. So it comes with the three components of the brew method. Uh, this top handle where the filter goes, uh, the coffee canister where you put the coffee in the water, uh, and then this top piece uh, that connects and kind of pushes it down and also doubles as some coffee storage, which is a nice extra feature. Um, so some of the pros of this brew method are definitely its durability. Um, it's made of plastic, but it's definitely well built. I've dropped it a few times. There's no uh, wear and tear. It's definitely a brew method that'll last for a while, uh, unlike some of the other ones that are a little bit more fragile. Um, it also uh, is really well designed. Uh, it's beautiful, uh, just like everything that Barista Co. makes. It's real simple, minimal, um, but, but definitely well designed and really thought through as far as the engineering component. Um, another benefit is its size. It's super small and won't take up much room in your kitchen. Easy to travel with because it's durable. Um, and it also has a lot of flexibility. Um, we'll talk about some of the different brew options later, but um, it has everything from a 30 second to um, a more traditional like two minutes, 30 second brew time, uh, which makes it super fast. It also can create everything from a more coffee concentrate espresso style drink um, to something more standard of a typical pour over. Um, so we'll look at some of those as well. Um, as far as where it kind of falls short, I think one of the biggest things is cost. It is 35 pounds, they're a British company, uh, which comes to around 45, 50 currently, um, which is definitely expensive for brew methods, looking at um, like the V60, the AeroPress, a lot of those other ones fall in like the 25 to $35 range, so it's definitely a little bit more. Um, and it's also pretty similar to the AeroPress, so if you already have an AeroPress, I'm not sure if it's different enough to really justify purchasing it as well, especially given its cost. But um, if you don't have something like the AeroPress already, um, I think it's a great brew method and something that uh, I've really enjoyed playing around with and getting uh, more familiar with. So next let's talk about um, how to brew with it. So there's two options um, when it comes to brewing. You can either do the upright method or the inverted method, which is similar to the AeroPress if you're familiar with those options. So the first one would be the upright option where you'll put the filter uh, in the handle to start out with, snap it into the coffee canister, put the coffee directly in, um, set it on top of your mug, pour the water in, or at least a portion of the water, stir, pour the rest in, and you can either press it down right there, it takes about 30 seconds. I found that to be a little bit weak, so you can also let it brew for about two minutes uh, and then press it down. So um, you'll definitely notice that coffee does drip through as you're letting it brew uh, or even just pouring water some of it will be dripping through um, so it's kind of a, a mixture between an immersion style brew like the french press where it's sitting in the ground and a, um, a pour over where it's kind of dripping through a filter um, and then also you get the pressure component as you push down the end so i found that method um, you know it works well but it does kind of drip through as you go and doesn't allow it to extract as much so I found it to be a little bit better to do the inverted method, which is also what I prefer in the AeroPress. So in that option, you would snap the handle uh, into the top part, put your coffee grounds um, in this part, and then pour the water uh, in here as well. You won't be able to fit as much water this way, but let it sit for about two minutes, and then snap on the handle, um, put it over a cup, and press it down um, in one motion. So the benefit of that is that it's sitting uh, in the grounds. It doesn't have a chance to kind of drip out as it's brewing. Um, and then they all, you know, it Barista Co. mentions potentially adding some additional water or milk after the fact to kind of lessen the strength of the coffee. Uh, they suggest adding an additional 80 grams, which comes out to about a 16 to one coffee ratio, which is more typical of a pour over style. I found that to be a little bit weak with this method. Um, so I prefer just adding about 20 or 30 grams at the end um, to kind of lessen it a little bit, um, but keep it stronger, kind of more of a 13 to one ratio. So 
think the bottom line when looking at, you know, does this make sense to buy? Is it worth the $45? Um, I think there's a few people that I think it definitely makes sense for. The first would be someone who travels um, a lot or drinks coffee on the go, whether it's camping or hiking. Um, it's compact, it's durable, it has this additional coffee storage, which is nice. So it makes it uh, something that would be really easy to travel with. I think this probably will become my go-to um, coffee brew method just because it doesn't really require a gooseneck kettle you can just kind of pour water directly in it doesn't have any fragile parts like the v60 or some of the other brew methods that i have that are a little bit more precarious to travel with like the chemex um, and with the coffee storage um, and everything else it's just kind of all you really need is this and a hand grinder and you'd be ready to go um, i think it also makes sense if you don't have an aeropress i think um, with an AeroPress, it's similar enough that I'm not sure it justifies the cost unless you really like collecting brew methods like I do. Um, but if you don't have one, I think that it's a great um, option to kind of add to your brewing repertoire. If you have just the V60 or Chemex, French Press, some other specialty brew methods, this is different enough that I definitely think it's worth purchasing. Uh, and the third group, I think, would be people that are new to specialty coffee. Some of the other specialty coffee brew methods, like the V60, the Chemex, require a little bit more skill. Kind of the pouring into concentric circles with the gooseneck kettle can be a little intimidating if you're not familiar with that. So the benefit to this brew method is it's really, really simple. Um, you know, even if you don't have a way to measure out the specific ratios, uh, I think that, you know, that helps things. But this brew method is definitely more forgiving. You know, with the inverted method, you put your coffee grounds in, you really fill up the water to the top, just let it sit for two minutes, and boom, you're ready to go. It doesn't require a lot of the finesse and skill that some of the other brew methods. So if you're new to specialty coffee, I think this is a great option to kind of get your feet wet uh, and get familiar without being too intimidated. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to, to answer them um, and enjoy.